Today I'm looking at the Ace Beam Pokey Light. It's a double A sized light that can run on 14500 lithium ion batteries or alkaline or nickel metal hydrides. It features a neutral white high CRI Nisha emitter and is very affordable at about $21 at the time of filming. Thanks to Ace Beam for sending this to me to take a look at and review. If you're not already subscribed to my social media accounts, I would love if you'd do that. It really does help out the channel and let manufacturers know that you enjoy the content. Let's take a look at the packaging and accessories that come with the light here. This is the box. It's a very small box, just about the size of the light itself, as you can see there. Very little information on the outside. It does have a five-year warranty. Inside, you get a variety of things. You get a lanyard that says Ace Beam. You get the optional 920 milliamp hour Ace Beam battery you get some extra o-rings and the uh, pocket clip comes pre-installed and you get the manual. Let's look at the construction and design here. The light comes in three different colors. As of the time of this review, you've got a green, an orange, and the black that I have here. The light is made from aluminum and it comes with or without a 14500 battery. The version I have is with it. And that's the one I'd recommend for most people. Starting at the tail of the light here, it's got a raised button that's got texture on it. It's basically the exact same button that's on the Olight i5T. It does have a plastic um, outer edge on it that, and it's pretty stiff to push so it takes a good push there. The rear tail cap is glued in place and it does have straight knurls much like the Olight as well. You've got your one pocket clip attachment point here. You've got a little bit of a knurling. It's just grooved. It's not actually knurls and then smooth here and I actually like this. It uh, works good if you're going to hold the light kind of like this to a uh, point. It gives you grip and it's somewhere to lock onto if you're going to uh, do this as well. The head is removable. You can see it's got uh, nice threads here that were nicely greased. They are square cut threads. I've got another battery in here at the moment, but you can see there is a spring down there at the bottom. Looking at that head of the tail cap here, you can see the PCB in there is blue. The head has very minimal branding, just ace beam. You've got a little hot warning, the light and serial number. Up at the front, you've got a slim bezel. You've got the anti-reflective coated glass above the lens, a smooth reflector with the LED there nicely in the center. So let's talk about retention for a second here. Retention includes the strap on the pocket clip which attaches here. It's not my favorite uh, design but it does work. The clip itself is a dual direction clip and it's finished in this glossy blue. Reminds me of Olight again. It's a reasonably deep carry pocket clip here. You can see it a little bit of the light does stick out and I had no issues with this other than it's just not my 100% preference there. I do like them deeper carry. The uh, Diff switch here prevented any accidental activations. This clip does rotate, however, it is very, very stiff in there. I mean, I'm having a hard time pushing it now, so that's a good thing if you're gonna use a lanyard here. I don't see that coming loose being any problem at all. I measured the length of light at 3.74 inches, diameter at 0.72 inches. I measured the weight with the included battery and pocket clip at exactly two ounces, and the light is IPX68 water rated and drop rated at two meters. All pretty standard stuff. There are a number of competitors with the Pokey Light. I will uh, show your Olight i5T here. I did a review on this back a long time ago. Lengthwise, you can see they're nearly identical with the Olight being just a touch longer. Design-wise, the Olight's just a little bit uh, larger in diameter. The tail caps, as I said, are pretty much identical. I've also got the Ace Beam Rider RX here. It is longer than uh, all three. It's the uh, dual construction light, so it is a little bit thicker as well, and it doesn't have the uh, bolt option as well. And then I'll throw in a Raylite uh, TI LAN here, and I love the LAN series. That's what I end up carrying probably the most. And, uh, you know, this is a little bit fatter. It's a little bit longer. The, the clip arguably is deeper carry, which I prefer. But if you've got a pineapple or a LAN, that kind of gives you a size comparison as well. The LED beam, the Ace Beam Pokey Light AA, uses a Nisha 219F LED in 5000 Kelvin with 90 plus CRI. I measured the light on my Opal meter at uh, 4438 CCT and 95 RA, which is CRI. It's a uh, pleasant tint without any distortion or anything like that. It's pretty neutral as you can see in what we'll see in my night shots as well. It has a medium sized hotspot I would call it and a reasonably large but uh, minimal spill. The head is not compatible with the uh, Rider RX. That's one thing a uh, few people have wanted to do and they just don't thread on or 
anything like that. My meter detects some PWM here, which I'll insert a photo of. It's very fast, so my eye or camera can't see it. I will insert a graphic here measuring the outputs of the uh, light in when I compared it using my lumen tube to what Ace Beam says. All in all here, pretty close, no big concerns there. All right, here is my night shots for the Ace Beam Pokey Light uh, AA 14500. I am running the 14500 and this is medium load mode, about 150 lumens. And we can see as I walk up the sidewalk here, it, you know, this is good enough to walk around and probably see 30, 40 feet in front of you. Camera does a hard time of showing that though. Here is high. This is uh, 550 lumens, if I remember correctly. Camera does a decent job of showing this. It is a fairly neutral, nice neutral tint, is what I mean to say. High CRI, hard to tell, neighbor's grass isn't very watered, but decent looking light here. For a bit of comparison, here is the Olight i5T. This is 300 lumens with the battery that it's got in it. And you can see this just isn't as bright, but the biggest difference is the cooler white emitter, low CRI. Still good enough to walk around in, but it's just not where I'd love it to be. And lastly, here is the Ace Beam Rider RX. Again, this is a neutral white. It's a little bit more neutral, a little bit cooler. This is also high CRI. The uh, beam here throws a little bit better than the Pokey Light, but this is also much a more expensive light. And here is the pokey light again. You can see it throws across the street to these trees okay. You can see it's a slightly warmer tint. Overall, this thing is a great value for the money here. Only about $21, $22 on Amazon at the time of filling. Heat and runtime. I will hit on a few highlights here and let the graphs hopefully speak for themselves. I primarily ran the light with the included 14500 lithium ion battery because you get better performance. High mode came in here just short of 500 lumens and that decreased to about 300 after a minute 30 was around an hour and the max heat here was at 61C. And that's pretty warm here. It's about 140 Fahrenheit. And in that mode, it was uncomfortable to hold the light and make a lot of contact in your hand like this, but I had no problems if I kind of held it like this or cigar gripped it is what some people call that. It was fine like that, but that's just something to keep in mind. I also test it with a 2,450 milliamp hour IKEA Lada battery as I've got here. You get about 225 lumens with that type of battery and you get that for about two and a half minutes before you start stepping down. It uh, ran for a total runtime there of two and a half hours and ran about 70 uh, lumens for that time. Medium mode extended this out to three hours and 12 minutes. So the rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries give you the most um, runtime, but they don't give you the most output. So that's a trade-off you'll have to make for your personal situation. I'll stick to running the uh, lithium ion batteries just because you uh, get more performance. The UI here is very simple. It's a reverse clicky switch. And with the 14500 battery, you've got three modes here. And this came on in high, which is where I was at it at using it last because it does have memory. I just click off. I'm coming on here in low, about five lumens, if I remember right, uh, medium, and then your high. There is no turbo. I can half press to change modes before I lock on. So I just locked on there. I can lock off turn on, I'm in low, I can half press here, which is a little bit hard to do once you've locked on. So, so you can half press this here. It does take a little bit of effort. Once you get to the mode you want, you just lock on and it stays on. It's a very, very easy UI. You really don't need to read the manual or stress out about it. I think I probably made it seem a little harder than it is, but it's very simple and a UI that anybody can use. Recharging here, the light itself does not have built-in USB-C charging or anything like that, but the Ace Beam battery that's optional does. You can see it uh, there on the side. You get a green or red LED at the top for charging or charged. I tested this uh, battery is rated for 920 milliamp hours. I tested it at 876 milliamp hours on my uh, vape cell S4 plus charger. I had no issues charging this battery with USB C to C or PD. Charging here was about uh, half a C at about 0.45 amps. And that's a little conservative for a battery of this size, but completely safe. Overall charging time was about two hours and 30 minutes. The battery itself does have low voltage protection built into it. Ace Beam is on a streak of listening to consumers and enthusiasts and have been doing great things in 2022. 
The Pokelite AA is no different. The Nisha 219F LED here puts out a neutral 5000 Kelvin tint with no ugly tones and a nice high 90 plus CRI. It does run hot when you're using it for extended period of time with the 14500 battery in high mode, reaching up to about 140 degrees Celsius. And you may have to change your grip to make it comfortable to continue to use it or switch to a lower output mode. I like the Pokelite uh, AA better than like the Lumentop tool personally, because it has a more desirable LED and the pocket clip is mounted higher up so you get a deeper carry. And it also comes with a battery in this case, depending on how you order it and where it comes from. And it's very affordable. It's available on Amazon right now for about $21 in black and orange. And Ace Beam sells them directly too if, if the colors are sold out, but they do look like they cost a little bit more. For a basic high quality flashlight that anyone can use with an easy user interface, the uh, Pokelite AA here is a great choice that I can recommend. As always, I thank you for watching these videos. If you found them helpful and you've enjoyed it and you've stuck around this long, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. So I will catch you on the next review. Thanks for watching.